Hi, I'm Russell, oceanographer, presenter, and pirate. You might have walked past some loud roadworks before and noticed people wearing ear defenders to protect their ears from damage. Roadworks can be as loud as 120 decibels. We measure how loud sound is in decibels, but there's some even louder sounds out there. Volcanoes, nuclear bombs, rockets taking off are all getting up towards the loudest sound possible in air, which is 194 decibels. But because the particles in water are closer together than air particles, sounds can be louder in water. At 25 meters long, sperm whales are not only the largest carnivore on earth, but they're also the loudest animal. Like us, they use sound to communicate, but they can also use echolocation to produce clicks, helping them to find prey in the ocean depths. These clicks can be as loud as 224 decibels. That is so loud that a sperm whale click could not only rupture your eardrums, but could also knock you unconscious. The sperm whale's incredible head is like a powerful megaphone, emitting pulses of sounds in distinct patterns which we call codas. And each whale's coda seems to be unique to them. In other words, they might be calling their name across the whole ocean. And because sounds travel over four times faster in water than it does in air, two whales could, in theory, speak to each other anywhere on Earth. But as well as whales, there are lots of other natural noises in the oceans, including waves crashing, wind howling, the earthquakes rumbling, ice cracking, and rainfall hissing. The ocean is a really noisy place to live. The thing is, we humans have significantly increased the level of sound in the ocean. Boat propellers, submarine sonar, oil and gas exploration, deep sea mining, drilling for oil, and construction work all contribute to underwater noise pollution. This can scare animals, causing them to change their feeding patterns or sometimes to strand themselves. And just as loud sounds hurt our ears, ocean noise can also harm marine creatures. Humans have increased the sound in the ocean over the last 70 years. Before, some of the marine mammals and fish alive today were even born. So what can you do to reduce ocean noise? First of all, buy local. By consuming products that are grown close to where you live or made close to where you live, this reduces the amount of goods that we have to ship across the ocean. If you're lucky enough to own a boat, make sure that you clean your propeller regularly and this reduces the amount of underwater noise. And finally, we can all tell politicians and companies that we want them to help make the oceans a more peaceful place to live. The thing about noise pollution is that when you turn it off, it goes away. So now you know a bit more about how the ocean affects you and how you affect the ocean. Well done, you are now more ocean literate. Our mission at Incredible Oceans is to help everyone become more ocean literate. The ocean is a fun place to visit and it's full of amazing sea creatures. We'd like to keep it that way.